Tesla cars are capable of a whole lot of processes that still surprise and delight people around the world. Whether it's its autopilot functions, the upgrades its computer and internal system go through, and even its sentry mode, with the car itself taking pictures of anyone who approaches it with the intention of stealing it. Elon Musk has done a good job in the development of these vehicles, but there are some details that still need to be polished so that users can have a complete and very pleasant experience with their cars. What are these details? Are they close to being improved or fixed? And why haven't Musk and his team done anything to remove them from Tesla models? Because, as mentioned, they are minimal elements that do not arise from the functionality and features of the car itself. While it is true that they should be removed or improved so that customers are more satisfied with the product, in some cases, the machinery has not yet been developed enough to say that these details are no longer a problem. But what kind of problems could such a car have? Tesla cars are distinguished by their sophistication, accessories, and always sober and impeccable appearance. Anyone who walks down the street and has the opportunity to get into one of these cars immediately notices the difference between riding in a mid-sized petrol-powered vehicle and a Tesla. Elon Musk and his team made sure that the experience of driving one of their models covers a broad spectrum. Now, not only do you have the opportunity to enjoy its comfort, but you can also experience its safety, technological details, and even the care that went into every aspect of the car. Yes, Tesla has done a good job in that regard, but just as much care has gone into the company's models, there's also one specific problem that generally covers most of its luxury vehicles, the batteries. Anyone who's driven a Tesla knows how inconvenient it is to deal with a problem that seems long overdue. Why? Because ever since the first Tesla models were released, the company has reported various details that always have the batteries at the center of them. The long waiting time for charging, the low autonomy shown in this accessory, and even the high costs involved in its manufacture. These are just a few of the flaws that customers who bought such cars often encounter. And for these reasons and more, or many people opt for other competitive options. Who wants a car that needs to be charged from time to time? Do you really want to deal with a bug that is causing battery life to be severely limited? No. For most people, these kinds of problems are necessary expenses, which can be avoided by turning to hybrid models or cars from other dealers, which have proven durability and few system failures. Can you blame them for not choosing a Tesla as their next purchase? No. As even the manufacturers themselves don't don't usually give customers more than 10 years of battery life before it starts to fail in various ways. Similarly, the cell storage system is already showing considerable losses, even with proper use and maintenance. This may not be a major problem at first, but in the long run, such battery problems often lead to bigger problems. Until now, it seemed that whatever the company did, it would have to live with the battery detail and wear and tear for a long time. However, it seems that a solution to its problems has been found. How can you be sure of that? Because of studies funded and conducted by Tesla itself, together with Dalhousie University in Canada. Thanks to the published results, it is known that the company's engineers and technicians have found a way to extend battery life to an impressive 100 years. 100 years. That might be the solution Tesla was looking for, but there's a catch that can't be ignored. The costs. In a course of this study, entitled LINI 0.5 NM 0.3 CO 0.202 as a superior alternative to LIFE P04 for long-life low-voltage lithium-ion cells, the scientists found a number of data that, in their view, have the potential to extend the life and service life of current batteries, all without significantly changing their structure or most of their components. And what kind of changes do they need to make to achieve such an impressive feat? Just a couple of them. Both have to do with the inside of the battery. And the first focuses on something that, until now, researchers have not dared to do. Adding certain amounts of graphite to the inside of NMC batteries. It may seem simple and even ridiculous in its simplicity, but it is actually a very time-consuming discovery. As it 
it was necessary to arrive at the exact amount of graphite that the battery required to extend its life. Secondly, there is the fact that scientists had to change the LiPF lithium that has always been used in most batteries and replace it with LiFSL class lithium. For those who are not familiar with the advantages of this component, LiFSL lithium is much safer due to its chemical stability and, best of all, its advantages increase when combined with the graphite, nickel, manganese, and cobalt that coat and make up the battery's power cells. With just these component changes, the battery has shown a significant improvement that could ultimately be what Tesla needs to keep its cars running for years and years to come, without presenting problems with the cells and their energy storage. Interesting. Who knew Tesla had to deal with problems that, it seems, are not as challenging as creating an all-electric car with intuitive safety? In the course of the study, NMC batteries with graphite and LiFSL lithium components were compared with current LFP lithium cells. The result of the experiment? The former showed greater resistance over time, as well as considerable support when exposed to temperatures ranging from 40 Celsius to 55 Celsius, and up to 70 Celsius. A temperature readjustment was also performed, where the batteries were exposed to a maximum of 25 Celsius. The LiFSL option proved to have the capacity to reach 100 years of life without any problems. For anyone who doesn't know this, 25 degrees is the temperature that all electric car batteries should be exposed to. Regardless of where it is located or the mileage, that is the ideal mark that all cars in that class should show. When the battery approaches zero degrees, vehicles often use heat pumps to help acclimatize the cells where the electrical energy is stored. In this way, the car enters a state of full performance. The same process takes place on very hot days, when the cooling system increases its functions so that the needle shows a temperature below 30 degrees. This is in order to avoid accelerated wear of the battery's themselves. This not only shows us that there is a whole process behind the operation of the Tesla, which is why it is so important for the company to find the perfect balance between the batteries and the machine itself. Thanks to the results to be acquired, the researchers are optimistic about the future of the company's batteries. Of course, among these conclusions is also the fact that studies must continue, as it requires irrefutable results before any patents can be approved. In any case, the fact that an NMC battery battery has been able to withstand such a large amount of charging and energy is quite an achievement, something that until now had been attempted without much convincing results. We now know that these batteries can be charged faster, are more durable, and can withstand higher energy cycles. So it's to be hoped that, barring the issue of the high price of the components, Tesla will find a way to fit them into future models. And that last bit of information brings us to the end of today's video. There is no doubt. Tesla is one of those companies that has everything it takes to get ahead and become a user favorite. Capital, technology, safety, and presence, and all thanks to its creator and the team behind the whole project. Even with details like the battery, the car brand is sure to gain a following in the coming years. Of course, your opinion is important, so comment. What do you think of Tesla cars? Are they to your liking, or do you prefer other brands? Leave your comments, and don't forget to suggest new topics for our next videos. See you next time.